Saturday, so it's time to talk about the Trio Mini a little bit. Um, I was asked at the beginning of the week about text for free. There is a, an app on here that is um, part of the Trio Mini, which is an app for free, um, text for free app, and here it is. Um, but the problem is, since I live in a rural area, and my zip code doesn't specifically come up, <laughs> it sounds weird, but doesn't specifically come up to tell me like where my location is, which is most probably a good thing for anybody to find me. But anyhow, I do have a zip code, but it doesn't understand it in this, and I've tried signing up, and I've tried logging in. Now, it did let me create an account, but it can't, because somebody wanted me to do uh, something on this text-free app that was installed on, and I can't. I've been trying for about an hour and it's not working so I'm not going to keep fighting with it um, and wasting so much time but I do want to let you know that uh, Facebook Facebook works on here and you can use the Facebook texting app and it works great uh, Snapchat works on this um, and there are, are other um, apps on the Play Store that do have text for free ones so you don't have to specifically use this one it's just that I don't like uh, kind of putting this stuff on my tablets because I remove so much stuff when I get rid of them or when I move on and I don't want any of my accidentally any of my information showing up on my screen which I've accidentally done before and it's almost got me in a lot of trouble personally so what I want to do is just say and you're gonna have to trust me that it works uh, another app I didn't install a while back which I want to talk about is my um, it's the um, juice defender now juice defender works really good um, I have the actual pro edition which I paid for through the Play Store but you can get the free one too but it does have where when you shut it off the screen it automatically disconnects the Wi-Fi after a certain amount of time so if the Wi-Fi is off the trio is not going to use much juice either so which is a big help too that's in the people always asking you know the um, review on this from Best Buy where I got it says the battery power is only like three hours long now that is pretty close I think I got maybe about four and a half or maybe a little longer not much depending on how much I pull on it now there are apps on here you can go through with clean master that tell you what's um, using up a lot of your um, what apps are using a lot of your you know power up your CPU speed up on here so clean master can go through and help you adjust a lot of that too besides juice defender I like juice defender because as soon as my tablet goes dark um, juice defender automatically shuts the Wi-Fi off and everything else so it puts it almost into a suspended so when it's kind of suspended it's not using any juice at all and I left it on the other night uh, all night and turned it on and it had like 40 so percent left on the battery power but you know that's not very much you know if you start it up to want to start working on it or playing games or surfing that's that uh, power in the battery will go up pretty fast from it'll get exhausted pretty quick so I'm just going over what a couple of things that I use which is uh, juice defender and clean master clean master has solved quite a few of my problems on some of my tablets too so clean master's got uh, different ways it can uh, it identifies storage, it removes junk files, it can boost it, it got antivirus, you got an app manager, and then it'll come up with warnings too on here to let you know, hey, your battery is um, not running correctly, <clears throat> excuse me, is there any ways it can help you solve these problems, and it can. Uh, it also shows you which apps are using the most of your CPU uh, processing power, and you can, you can adjust that too and I like it so I repeatedly always go through and and clean up stuff on it so and it, and, it, and, it, and it does a really good job and I like it. it's one of my favorite apps as far as um, it's on my phone it's on my other tablets I usually install about any time see right here it's asking you can boost your memory here too so it tells you how to um, boost your memory up and it tells you to see so it's a cache, cache cleaner too, it's on, and this is all on the Mini, the Trio Mini 4.3. So there it cleaned up 55.2 megabytes. So, you know, it's just one of those apps that everybody's always looking for apps to help them save uh, battery power, helping them try to find more space. Uh, KitKat is, I guess, kind of fights you on, like removing apps, removing apps to SD card. I just manually take my SD card out and... Um, put the apps on my SD card sometimes from my tablets and then I put them on the SD card and put them back in so uh, that's that's what I do juice defender is 
main reason I use it is because you, there's different modes of it. There's an aggressive, there's balance, there's different ways to use it too. It's got several different settings and, and stuff. Um, but I like about it the most is when I use Deuce Defender is that when I shut it off, it actually shuts my Wi-Fi down when the screen is closed off or locked out for so much time. And then after that, it's not using any a lot of CPU energy either because it's shut down. It's going to suspend it. Turn it up. you got to wait a couple seconds, but it'll reconnect to the Wi-Fi. But there's ways, many ways for Juice Defender to you can adjust it your own way too. Like I said, it has different settings. And I was like Clean Master. Now, as far as the texting stuff goes, uh, I know a lot of you that love the texting stuff is for free. But remember, you always got to be in range of your Wi-Fi. This is not a phone. It's a, it's a little tablet. So you got to be in range of the Wi-Fi. Let's say you're at Bob Evans or your McDonald's or your, maybe your favorite drinking hole is Tom Hortons. I don't know. But if you have free Wi-Fi, remember, you're using their Wi-Fi. It's always a secure risk when you use it. So make sure you have another app that uh, protects you on your security of your Wi-Fi when you're using your mobile device. So um, the text-free apps are always cool. They're kind of neat because my daughter uses, I think, one of the ones she uses is Snapchat. You can use Snapchat on this too. It runs great because I've never had a problem with it. Even on my smaller, cheaper trio that's not running KitKat, it ran Snapchat okay. So uh, Plus there are many free apps on the uh, Play Store. But always uh, do your reviewing, checking out, looking into it. The Trio Mini uh, is turning out to be an okay tablet so far. It seems to be well liked. I like to play a few more games on it, so I would be um, installing a, a few more games here soon on it to show to do that. So my testing for the Trio Mini is just about wrapping up, though. Um, it's slim, and a lot of people like it because it's slim. Remember, the SD card uh, goes in the back when you remove this remove this cover just like you would if you have a Samsung phone or whatever any phone actually take the back off the SD card goes in push the lock up and then slide it down with the SD card goes in so then that's the uh, that's how that works and I always like to take my mini SD cards out a lot of time anyhow if I want to put some uh, different if I'm going to try to um, flash up a ROM or anything like that I'll put an image on there plus if there's anything I find that's uh, in my collection of all my Android uh, apps and stuff that I've saved I can put them directly onto my uh, SD card and then run them off and install them off onto my tablet or so on or whatever so you know that's just that's just a basically quick rundown I'm sorry I couldn't fully go through the whole text free thing but trust me uh, I'm sorry I live in an area that <laughs> it's hard for me I have really good Wi-Fi and all that but it's really hard to identify uh, where exactly and won't you won't give me a number let me sign up and let me go through the whole thing but it won't give me my own little number to use for the text free thing but it does it does work because it did actually go into it and let me sign up and everything so I know it's gonna work um, like I said there are a lot of alternative alternative uh, uh, free texting apps and I'm sure people comment and say which ones work for them that's great go ahead shout it out put it on my page for everybody to share it what works best for you and your free texting apps go ahead and put it on my page and share it out uh, trying to make sure that they're decent ones that it doesn't take you somewhere strange and show you pictures and stuff that you don't want to see so anyhow I think that's going to kind of wrap it up for Saturday uh, and go over I'm still working on I'm pretty sure I got something figured out for my free giveaway that's coming up I want to try to do over Thanksgiving for like a Black Friday Thanksgiving thing um, I'm hoping to round something up on that and until then uh, this was the Trio Mini and I talked a little about about different things also I think there was another Black Friday tablet I wanted to go over real quick too but I can't remember where that was but pretty much all the Black Friday ads are out. Uh, just go to Google, type in, and I think I posted a couple of times on my videos what the link is for uh, BAF, uh, or is it A? Is it B, I think it's BAF, Black Friday ads or something. Yeah, yeah, Black Friday ads or something. Just type that into Google and you can find out what all tablets are going to be everywhere. As far as I know, once again, I'll go over it again. Most of the stores are having two high end, or three high end, or two low end, one low end, and one high end. Uh, the one I'm going to go after, the tablet I'm going to go after is at the Dollar General. I'm going to try to go after it because when uh, it's on sale for the Black Friday, it's only going to be 40 bucks, and it's got a Hertz processor, um, and I think it's got a gig of RAM. I oh, know it's got more. What? I was wrong. Backwards. It's got a gig of DDR3 RAM in it, and I, oh, uh, I can't remember if it's 1.2 or 1.3 uh, CPU. It might be all winners if I looked it up. I did some research, but I'm going to chase after that tablet. It's going to have KitKat on it. And maybe it'll be one that's a, a China tablet in there, and maybe I can get into it and put a lollipop image on it and give that a try. So, until Wednesday, 
Uh, please have a nice rest of the weekend. Please like. Uh, please subscribe. Comment to me if you want me to try anything out on the tree. It'll help me um, finish up my um, reviews on it. Uh, as far as I mean, like apps and stuff. Uh, let's try installing another game. Also, keep your eye out for some. Um, Minecraft Pocket Edition play on this tablet too. I might throw a couple of those in there before the holidays up too. So until then, um, like I said, please like, welcome all new subscribers. Welcome, uh, yeah, welcome, welcome. I've jumped up pretty high. Who's going to be in my number 600 subscriber? Will be you. We'll find out if you subscribe. It may be you. It'd be cool. Uh, anyhow, um, remember I am not an Android expert. This is my hobby. I just like this stuff. And thank you for all the awesome uh, comments lately that for some of the people that have been great. I try to answer all your questions the best that I can. I really do. And if I can't, I will resort you and point you into the direction of the XDA or somewhere else uh, where there's a great bunch of people on the XDA and they're more than happy to help you if you're something more sophisticatedly that you want to do with your tablet that I'm not a, capable of doing. It. Um, so until then, like I said, please like, please subscribe, and I will catch you Wednesday with Wednesday's vlog.